beautiful sounds of birds. The sail was dirty, patchy, and poor of construction because, well, bloody thing. It's just all sorts of weird. Look at it, I mean, it has, like, no boom and a diagonal strip to hold it. This is just an, this is just like an improper sailing, just... Dear Lord, who taught this guy how to build boats? You ordered this from the internet, didn't you? From eBay, didn't you? You thought you would get it cheap, right? Right? Well, you were wrong. This boat has taken me to some place where I had not been before. Some place with a bridge and a house by the seashore. As it turns out, this entire place was what? The entire sails was magically rolled up. Oh, whatever, fuck it. Magic happens in this world. We get it. So I decided to go back to that other place that I had discovered to see if I could find anything interesting in that other seashore house. I found several men, or perhaps a man, fighting several beasts, and decided to approach to him and talk to him about it, but not before stealing the meat from his prey, and visiting this house. This house was yet again full of rats. These things seem to be quite the persistent little buggers appearing everywhere, really. Finally, I had bested these rats yet again. This house, however, seemed to be completely abandoned and overgrown by a wide variety of shrubbery. There was really nothing in the whole place except for a lone chest with a spell of blessing and a rusty iron helmet. Hmm... I wondered why everyone in this place seemed to fear magic and loathe withers while keeping scrolls of spells around everywhere, for surely only a wizard can use such items. Ich habe mehrere Leute sagen hören. The rumors of So, this hunter creeping through the wildlands, killing wildlife at will, has told me that the mages are apparently evil and drink blood. How nice to know that I'm going to join them. I sound like a perfectly reasonable person, don't I? So, uh, huh. I took a moment to look upon my map and reflect where I was. It seemed, judging by the red boundary, that I was somewhere in the Midlands. Right next to the river system. I also found that I was actually quite near the town to which I wanted to go. Or specifically the abbey which I wanted to visit and talk to the man who had thrust me so violently upon this path of destiny. Dang it. Man thrust. <laughs> I found a small encampment with two beds and a sack. I quickly decided to relieve these people of their gold and go on my merry way. Hmm. I found yet another deer, but I decided that chasing this one would be f quite fruitless, really.
When lockpicking, I quickly discovered that the time after the pin fell fast, it would fall not slow. There we go. And that one would have to perfectly time each... Oh, I've run out of lockpicks. How embarrassing. Perhaps I should study my skills of thievery, for I am a no common thief, but I am an alchemist. Perhaps it was not made for me to be this way. Was möchtet ihr kaufen? I found yet another hunter that offered me to buy several books from him, as well as a long sword. Hmm. His hunting books were certainly were certainly far pricier than those of the other man. However, I found that I could quickly haggle him to a proper price, at which I could sell quite a lot of items that I had accrued over my adventures. For example, I found that I could sell all of the mushrooms that I had gathered for a very nice sum of money. In fact, one could say that I would now be able to purchase whatever I wanted from this man. And specifically, I wanted to purchase his book on skinning. However, not being happy with the price, I attempted to haggle with the man some more. And found that he was actually quite reasonable when it came to things. However, I was yet again poor and would have to buy this longsword from him and try and find something more to sell to him. Like perhaps some of this soap and this orange. Maybe he would even take this root pulp and perhaps even this mandrake root. Now I sort of felt like a fool for selling everything that I had to this man. All of those wonderful mushrooms gone into who knows where. But I got a long sword out of it. I mean, that's pretty it's pretty much worth it. And additionally, I got this wonderful book on skinning animals that allowed me to learn the craft. Die fahrenden Händler zu eurer Verfügung also, there was a traveling merchant that tried to offer me absolutely nothing interesting. Hmm. Except for possibly some lockpicks. I decided to sell my rusty iron war axe. And look again at what he had to offer. Hmm. He had absolutely nothing I wanted, so I told him to go screw himself. Screw you, sir, and your ass. <laughs> Hello, Merc. Uh, yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. Bleh. I have found a magical chest that would appear to transport whatever it is that I put in there to all the other towns. So, I decided to store some of my wonderful ingredients. And some keys. Ich bin gerade auf der Durchreise. Hmm. This man would repair all of my items for very cheap. I found that he was quite a good man, even though he did not have much of anything to sell. I could not blame him, for certainly he was dressed like the poor, wearing dickhead shoes and poverty pants. Hmm.
Now in this town, hmm. I found a letter to the high priest. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So, apparently I, Alucard the Alchemist. Ooh, Benno, hey doggy, hey doggy, how you doing doggy? How you doing? Yes, you walking into walls, who's a good doggy? Who's a good doggy? Who's your wall? So, I could not enter that place in good conscience knowing it was... I found a platform to which I could teleport, but I found that I did not have the room. Uh, recently he stole a perfume flask, a faithful one of the chapel had donated. He then threw it on the fisherman's roof here and put the resentment. Bring back the flask. Hmm. Yes. Well. Hmm. I found several religious texts that I did not really want to bother reading through, as well as being tasked with retrieving a bottle of perfume. Quite the silly little task, I would say, but... You do what you have to. It's, uh, it's on the roof of the fisherman's hut on the west side of the lake. So, a fisherman's hut, eh? And it's on the roof, you say. Hmm. Perhaps it was that abandoned place which I entered before. That would indeed be on the west side of the lake. And I can think of no better place for me to be than a place with a hole in its roof. Or maybe it is this place right here. Maybe if I were to jump up these stones and then onto this roof, I could make it onto this roof and try and find the bottle of perfume. This all sounds very absurd, really. First me following the orders of a god, and second that god telling me to look for bloody perfume. I cannot help but note that there, this was quite a vegetated piece of land that I found myself in with tall trees growing everywhere, as well as many crabs and deers to populate it. The hut for which I looked, perhaps, was right before me, and I did not know what I could do. For certainly this was an old boathouse, and, well... There seemed to be no way to get onto the roof from the outside. There were no stones near it or anything of the nature. So I went back inside to see if perhaps I could find the perfume in here. However, it did not appear likely. Seeing as there was a tree going through the roof. Hmm. Not very likely at all. No. This did not seem to be the right place. I walked around the perimeter of the cottage, trying to see if I could spot the perfume, and indeed I could. It was right on the tip of that tree. Now how would I get up there was indeed an interesting question. For certainly I could not leap that high. And even standing upon one of these pillars would not give me the height necessary to reach the next step of the roof, now would it? No, certainly it would not. However, I started to think that perhaps I could shoot it down with my bow. 